I don't think that joy has to look a certain way. It doesn't mean necessarily that everything is peppy and everything is upbeat. Joy is much more of a core feeling and it's something that we use to connect to each other as, as human beings. And so rather than trying to force pep at a time where things have been hard in the world and this year I know has been taxing for a lot of people in a lot of ways, I think that right now the way that I would like to call in joy is as gratitude. Because in certain ways, and over the last month, I've seen people give so generously to our cause. And that has looked like a $25 donation from somebody who spared that. That was what they had to give. It looks like somebody being moved by others' happiness and joy, wanting to spread that even further. It looks like somebody who cares about a loved one and has given a donation because that's what they have to give. Just the beauty of doing what we can for each other because we want to. I think this has been a challenging year for most people and on a world level as well. And joy is a scarce commodity um, when we're living in times like this. I think that the important thing about joy, especially as a form of resistance, is that it doesn't have to be polished. It doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be shiny all the time because joy is something that's authentic and it can be in small, meaningful ways. It can be loud and bold and boisterous. It can be taking up space and it can be personal. And every time that we choose joy, that is the resistance. It is the resistance of depression. It is the resistance of isolation. It's the resistance of drinking the Kool-Aid. The RPM is a place where there are a lot of moments of joy that happen naturally. The environment that we create holds the space for those moments of joy, but also the space to be present in them, to be really, really focused in and to really connect and to magnify the joy. So thank you for everybody who has given. And if you find it in your hearts and in your pockets after the holiday season to donate, we would appreciate it so much. And there's always so many other ways to engage. So if you watch the videos and if you are reading the newsletters, if you're participating in our programs, if you're spreading the word, we're so grateful for you. And I think that that's more than enough. So thank you for sharing your joy with us and continue to engage.